The internet is buzzing with news on ChatGPT and how absolutely everybody uses it to write uh, their homework, university essays, or even Python codes. ChatGPT is the later generation of a large language model designed to generate text from user input. There's a lot of discussion regarding its potential use in medicine. So let's see what you can expect from it and what you should not use it for, at least in its current form. I'm Dr. Baitan Meshko, and you're watching The Medical Futurist. On the surface, ChatGPT works similarly to the already infamous AI image generator Midjourney in a way that they both require a little prompt and then magic happens. While Midjourney creates beautiful pictures based on your text briefs, ChatGPT will try to answer your questions about anything by crawling the required information from the web before 2021. It can mostly answer your questions better and faster than a Google search, but you can use it for all sorts of things too and you can get real creative with it. For example, just last week, I wanted to make a non-alcoholic cocktail, but I had no idea what I could make from the ingredients at home. I told ChatGPT what I have and what I want, and in a few seconds, it provided me with a perfect recipe with a catchy name. A few days later, I asked it to come up with a few science fiction short story ideas about the future of healthcare, and it was crazy how well it performed. It genuinely inspired me. And when I copied true to life clinical cases from the case files of internal medicine, it solved most of them. The use cases are endless. Some people have used ChatGPT to write code, while others have asked it to write a piano sonata in the style of Mozart. But more importantly to us, recently it even passed all three parts of the US medical licensing exam without any specialized training or reinforcement. This is something that second-year medical students typically spend 300 or 400 hours preparing. So let's see how it could be implemented in our healthcare systems. Clinical documentation. ChatGPT can be trained on a dataset of medical records to assist doctors and nurses with creating accurate and detailed clinical notes. For example, a doctor can dictate a patient's visit into a microphone and ChatGPT can transcribe the visit and generate a structured note that includes the patient's main symptoms, history of present illness and results of the physical examination, assessment and plan. That could save time and increase the efficiency of documentation. But it could also potentially take a bigger bite and help health facilities with summarizing medical records or analyzing research papers. The more data we feed it with, the better it performs. Symptom Checker ChatGPT already seems to do quite well in answering general questions in many areas, from what is diabetes, through how to ensure financial safety at an old age, to uh, why are patients not involved in healthcare. However, the answers you receive will be very general. You will get a correct summary of the basics, but will most likely not succeed in learning about the specifics. As I said before, Currently, ChatGPT has a lot of inherited limitations and imposed restrictions. But in the future, ChatGPT could take over the dreaded Googling for symptoms and help concert patients without drowning them with unfiltered, scary and overly complicated information. Instead, ChatGPT could interact and ask questions like where is the pain located, how severe is the pain, how long have you had the pain, are there any other symptoms? And once it has enough knowledge to narrow the possibilities down, it will be able to keep relevant information, suggest possible conditions or illnesses that the patient might have, and advise on the next step, such as seeing a doctor or going to the emergency room. Medical Chatbot One of the best possible use cases for ChatGPT is to become a medical chatbot. We have a worldwide shortage of doctors, we are 5 million short to be precise, so healthcare could really use an AI assistant because we can't just simply leave patients alone with their struggles. Of course, this is not some novel idea. There are a few chatbots out there that are eager to answer our questions, but the performance pales in comparison to ChatGPT. I tried Boy, Wolfram Alpha and uh, Healthily, but most of them felt like an extension of a regular Google search instead of interacting with an AI. By far, ChatGPT was the easiest and most comfortable to use. If ChatGPT was integrated into an actual medical chatbot, it could interact with patients, provide general health information, answer questions, and even help schedule appointments. An advanced chatbot 
could also create a report of us while we wait for our appointment so that our doctor could get up to speed faster and more efficiently once we meet face to face. But to use ChatGPT for these highly responsible and complicated tasks, it would need a lot more development. After all, in healthcare, even a conversation can be a matter of life or death. And the current iteration of ChatGPT has some severe limitations. For example, a huge problem now is that ChatGPT doesn't cite the references and sources it used information from. In medicine, this is awful and simply means you cannot trust the answers you get unless you can verify it yourself as a medical professional. If you, as a doctor, sent a letter generated by ChatGPT to an insurance company and the diagnostic test gets rejected because it doesn't cite the proper literature, well, that's pretty problematic. On the other hand, the letter itself looks fine, and if you are not lazy to actually overview it and include real references, it can still save you some time. After all, using ChatGPT, this way is not much different from using templates. And with a little questioning, even ChatGPT told me that it doesn't have the ability to browse the internet or access scientific literature after 2021. Which brings us to one of the more serious and negative consequences of algorithms like ChatGPT inevitably penetrating healthcare. When AI-assisted papers are going to be mainstream, we all have to step up and embrace a new role of being fact-checkers, which is a role we have already failed in as society. If you have doubts, check out the recent discussion on whether ChatGPT could become a co-author of a research paper. In the meantime, interestingly, only a few short weeks after the release of ChatGPT, Google's DeepMind announced the release of MedPalm, a large language model specifically designed to answer healthcare-related questions. This model was trained on six existing medical Q&A datasets and a new one created by the developers using questions about medical conditions and the associated symptoms. At the moment, MedPalm cannot be tested by the general public, but the field is growing exponentially and a public launch could be sooner than later. The study they published contains impressive examples. The takeaway is this. Although these algorithms are obviously not perfect, they are already significantly better than any previous algorithms and they are advancing at a rapid speed, providing a never-before-seen quality of human-AI interaction. And in the case of a medical chatbot with 5 million doctors missing from worldwide healthcare services, as these models get better and better, the risk of missing care due to capacity shortages of in healthcare will soon outweigh the risk of the algorithms being wrong. We will be better off familiarizing ourselves with communicating with such an LLM algorithm purely because long waiting for medical answers due to the lack of healthcare personnel will pose a higher threat. So, until AI changes healthcare as we know it, it would be a great time to use Midjourney and ChatGPT to dip our toes into this water and to familiarize ourselves with how AI works to make the transition easier and more fun. And think of the wider possibilities. I mean, so far we were only talking about advanced chatbots, but AI tools are popping up everywhere. What if we take full advantage? We could create a website for our medical practice in seconds with the AI-driven service on striking.com. We could create a unique logo easily with Midjourney or Dolly, make instructional or marketing deepfake videos on hudem.com, add a celebrity voice with voice.ai, all working with text written by ChatGPT. AI will profoundly change diagnostics, drug design, treatment planning, radiology, pathology, oncology, and through technologies like ChatGPT, they will change the entire field and the business surrounding it. Personally, I feel similarly about it like back in the day when I first used the internet and saw the limitless possibilities coming down the line. So buckle up. If you like this video, please subscribe below. So you will get notified about all the videos we come up with. Plus, please check out the digitalhealthcourse.com, the platform where you can learn all the things around digital health and the future of healthcare.